All right, my friends, time for another fantastic Revit tip. Okay, today's Revit tip is about slopes and the annotation object that you put up on your roof in an elevation that tells you the slope of the roof, okay? And it's automatic. It knows the slope of the roof and it reports the slope of the roof. You can't type in what you want on your keyboard and for, you know, it's eight and 12. It actually reports. But this Revit tip comes to you because a guy contacted me and said, hey, Mike, why is my annotation reporting the wrong number? What, what's going on? It is reporting to me that it is different. It's, it's saying it's a lower slope by a few degrees than it should be. What's going on? And I was like, I know what's going on. In fact, this is a good topic for a Reddit tip. That's why we're here today. So here we go. Let me share my screen with you guys. I'm going to share my screen. And here we go. Okay. What we've got right here is 3D. This is our building. Okay. This guy right here is... The, um, the roof here is a hip roof, okay? I'm just going to spin this thing around a little bit. Mm -hmm. And with, if you see, I'm just going to come up here. We've got a hip roof going along. It's a rectangle, and it extends down here over this portion of the building. And this side of the building, I'm just going to spin around here. Mm -hmm. This side of the building is the west side of the building. So why don't we go, well, first, in 3D, would you believe it? I just want to show you something. Before we get there, I'm going to click on the roof. I'm going to pick the roof. I'm going to come up here, and it says my slope. Safely, it says in the properties that once you pick your roof, it tells you what the slope is. It's 8 and 12, okay? So let's just go with that. It's 8 and 12, okay? So here we go. I'm going to come in here nice and close. And I'm going to put one of these pieces of annotation on here, okay? Annotate. And let me just, there's a toolbar actually right in my face, and I want to move it out of the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Spot slope. In 3D here, if I click on one of these, um, on this side, this roof edge here, I'm going to click on it. It says it's 8 and 12. That's what I just checked a second ago to prove myself. And coming down this way, look at that. 8 and 12. This is 8 and 12. That's 8 and 12. It's 8 and 12 all over the place because the roof is 8 and 12. Okay? So let's go to our um, elevation view. So I'm going to come down here to building elevation. I'm going to come down to west elevation. Bam, you guys. There it is. You recognize it from the building. This is the main building beyond, and this is a little pop-out coming toward us. Now, wait for it. Let's check the slope with a slope angle, okay? A spot slope. Here we go. Spot slope, same as I did in 3D. And I click right here. I'm like, five and a half to 12. What? what what's, what's going on? Five and a half to 12. See? And even this one right here, five and a half to 12. What is going on? Why is it doing this? And he was frustrated. And I'm saying, dude, let me explain what's happening. Okay. I'm going to get rid of these. Click, click, click. He's not doing it wrong. And if this is happening to you, it's not doing it wrong. What it's doing, my friends, is it is catching the first thing that it comes to, which is the hip. So let's go back to 3D, okay? If you're on this end viewing the building from the west, your view, I'm going to just, let me get rid of these. Mm -hmm, I'm going to get rid of these markers. Okay. When you're viewing from this side of the building and it's coming toward, and you're trying to tag this edge, you're actually hitting this ridge now, this is kind of like a hip you're hitting this hip first before it comes to the eight and 12 so this hip is at five and a half and 12 
And the annotation from the elevation view hits this first. And so it suggests five and a half and 12. But you can hit tab to get it to select further beyond the first thing it comes to and tag the actual surface of the roof. And that's what was happening over here as well. When I was trying to tag this surface, my annotation marker was hitting this hip. It's the first thing it came to. And it automatically said, hey, five and a half and 12, not eight and 12. So I'm gonna go back to the west elevation. This is the hip because this piece of the roof and this piece of the roof are folded down away from me. It's a hip situation. So if I hit spot slope and I try to tag on that, it's going to show me five and 12 because that's the hip. What I have to do is hit your tab key, tab, and it will pick the next thing beyond, which is the surface of the roof. Okay. Just showing you. Bam. Now, to prove that it's 8 and 12 is the slope of the roof, and you're not just hitting another hip or another valley beyond, you can, if you want, hit DL on your keyboard for a detail line. You can put a detail line on the edge of your roof if you want to. You can pick it and drag it up so that it extends above the roof like that so that you're not even near the roof at all to confirm the angle. And then if you tried to put a spot slope on that on the line, it will confirm to you that that angle is indeed eight and 12. Meaning the one that you tabbed to just a moment before is indeed the main surface of the roof and not a hip or a valley, okay? You delete the line and it takes away the spot slope that you were using. But that confirmed that this angle here is indeed 8 and 12. All right. I just wanted to show that to you guys because it happens in our elevations. When you go to do a spot slope, if it's a hip situation, the, the annotation is going to tag the hip first because the first thing it comes to. Just use tab to hit the main surface. All right. Well. I think that's all for now. And that's my tip for a uh, Reddit tip for the day. I hope you have a fantastic day. And until we meet again, happy Reveting. All right. Bye-bye.